Okay, we are going to find the third derivative of secant x. Namely, we will find the jerk of secant x. And we will do everything from scratch. We will only assume that we have the quotient rule and also the derivative for sine x and cosine x. Okay? So, to get the third derivative, we just have to differentiate this three times, right? And first of all, let me just show you guys how we can derive secant x from scratch. So I will just put it down right here. So to differentiate secant x, let me just put it down like this, okay? First of all, we know that secant x is the same as 1 over cosine. So this is the same as differentiating 1 over cosine x, okay? And now, by looking at this right here, we can use the quotient rule. And it says we will have to square the denominator first. So I will put down cosine x in the parentheses and then square that. And on the top, we will have the denominator first. So that's cosine x. And we multiply by the derivative of the top. The derivative of 1 is equal to 0. And then we minus the top function, which is 1, times the derivative of the bottom function, which is negative sine x. And now this is pretty much it. The rest is just a matter of simplifying this, right? So now, cosine x times 0, it doesn't really matter anymore, right? So that's gone. And negative 1 times negative sine x is just 1 times sine x. Let me write this down. 1 times sine x. And that's both positive now, right? Over cosine x squared means cosine x times cosine x. And let me just put down the first cosine x in red and then the second cosine x in blue, because now 1 over cosine x, that's exactly secant x, times sine x over cosine x, that's exactly tangent x, right? So this right here is it. So the first derivative of secant x, I will just put it down as y prime right here. It's equal to secant x times tangent x, okay? And then, to differentiate this again, we will get y prime, prime, like this. Notice that this is the product of two functions, so we have to use the product rule, which it says we will keep the first function and then times the derivative of the second function. But I haven't showed you guys the derivative tension yet, so let me do it right here. So let's go ahead and put down the derivative of tangent x. And we know tangent is the same as sine x over cosine x, so this is the same as differentiating sine x over cosine x. And this is another quotient rule question, right? We will square the denominator, so I will put this in a parentheses, and then we have the cosine x square, and then on the top, we will have the bottom function, which is cosine x, right? Times the derivative of the top function, derivative sine x is cosine x, and then we minus the top function, which is sine x, times the derivative of the bottom, which is negative sine x. Okay, in this case, we see that cosine x, cosine x, this is cosine squared x, and then negative times negative is, of course, plus, and then sine x times sine x is sine squared x. Well, what's cosine squared plus sine squared? This is just equal to 1, right? So all in all, we have 1 over cosine squared. Well, we know 1 over cosine secant, 1 over cosine squared is just secant squared. So this is going to be secant squared x, OK? Now we'll come back here and use the product rule for this. Once again, I will just keep the first function as how it is, secant x. And we will multiply by the derivative of the second, the derivative of the tangent x is secant squared x. So I'll just write this down right here for you guys. We'll put this down as secant squared x. And then we will add the second function, namely tangent x, and we multiply by the derivative of the first function. The derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. Like, that's what we got over there, OK? So now, I will just have to simplify this a little bit. You see that secant to the first power x times secant to the second power x. This right here is just secant to the third power x. And then tangent x times tangent x is just tangent to the second power, right? And let me just write down plus secant x first times tangent squared x. 
So this is the second derivative, still not that bad, right? Finally, we will do the third derivative. So we differentiate this again. So y prime prime prime, y triple prime. In this case, we really have to use the chain rule now, all right? Um, yeah. So, in fact, I will write this down below a little bit. Because to differentiate secant to the third power x, this is what I would like to do with you guys. I would like to look at this as parentheses, and then we will have the secant x inside, and then raised to the third power, like this, right? So, what we are going to do is, we will take the power to the front, okay? So we'll bring the power to the front, and then minus 1. And then we'll keep the inside. So the first part is going to be 3 times the parentheses. The inside here stays the same, secant x. And 3 minus 1, of course, is 2, so that's the second power. But be sure you multiply by the derivative of the inside. Derivative of secant x is secant x times tangent x, like this. So this is pretty much it. That's the derivative of secant to a third power x. Then we will add the derivative of this guy. But this guy right here is the product of two functions. So we have to use the product rule. But for this part, we have to use the chain rule, just like that. Anyway, product rule says we will use, uh, we will put down the first function first, which is secant x, okay? And to differentiate this guy, I will have to look at tangent x as, we will have to look at tangent square x as tangent x and then to the second power. Let's first bring the power to the front and then minus 1. So we multiply by 2 and the input stays the same, tangent x, and then that's to the first power. But we will have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is the derivative well, which is this, which is secant square x, like this. And this is the first power, okay? And I know I'm about to run out of space, so I'm just going to erase this right here. And you see that this is just secant x times the derivative of tangent square x. That's what we have. Now, I will have to add the second function, which is tangent square x. And we will multiply by the derivative the first. Derivative of secant x is secant x times tangent x, okay? So this is pretty much it. Now it's just a matter of simplifying everything. Let's see, for the first term here, we have 3, and this is secant x to the second power multiplied by one more, right? So this is altogether secant to the third power, and then x, and then multiply by tangent x x. So that's pretty much it. Now we add this part we have 2 and then this is secant x and this is secant uh, square. So this is all together secant to a third power x and don't forget we still have a tangent x. And then for this part we will add, let's put down secant x first and then this is tangent square times tangent so all together is tangent to the third power x. And is there anything else we can do? Yes, right here and right here, right? We can combine like terms. So 3 and 2, all together we have 5, and the term stays the same, right? So we have 5, secant third power x, tangent x, and right here we just put down plus secant x, tangent third power x. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the third power I mean, the third derivative of secant x, namely the jerk of secant x, okay? And this is, in fact, one of my favorite teaching questions in terms of derivative because it has a lot of ingredients. But anyway, that's it.